Hey everybody, it's Dr. Mark with US 1061 757 Auto Events and the Coastal Virginia Auto Show. We're getting close to the Coastal Virginia Auto Show, aren't we? Yes, we are. A couple weeks. All right, so I am lucky enough to be out here with Darren James. Darren James has a 2017 yes. Corvette Z06 model, but this isn't your average Z06, I believe, right? <laughs> yeah. I've done a couple things to it. <laughs> yeah, so we're really excited. You guys stay tuned. This is the, uh, I call this the Carbon Corvette. We're happy to have this on the indoor show at the uh, Coastal Virginia Auto Show. And he's also been out to a lot of our outdoor shows as well. So very supportive. We appreciate all these done for us. And then also we're going to be talking about this car today. So um, with that being said, you've been in this car for how long now? Oh, I purchased this car uh, December uh -huh. of 2017. Actually, I was actually, um, in a, I was looking for a Corvette. Sure and um, wasn't quite ready to pull the trigger on it. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I got browsing around on the internet and um, I seen this one yeah. popped up. So I, um, it had a whole bunch of mods already done to the engine, nice. you know? And the price that it was at, I was like, this can't be true. Uh -huh. <laughs> Too good to be this true. This can't huh? be true. Yeah, it was in, in Chicago and um, so I called the guy. He's like, oh yeah, so, um, you know we're a Lamborghini dealership, but we got a, a Corvette Z06 sitting on the lot. So let me tell you the story behind it. Uh -huh. So he said, uh, some guy, I mean, a guy came in, customer came in, he wanted a particular Lamborghini. Yeah. They didn't have that particular Lamborghini in stock. So he, he put in the order for it, uh -huh. all right? So he had to wait. I think the guy said he had to wait like a year. Wow. So in the meantime, he went, he bought this Corvette, did a whole bunch of mods to it, forged piston, forged crankshaft, um, upper pulley, lower pulley. Right. Um, he put a K40 uh, radar detector in it. Um, just a bunch of stuff. Right. A bunch of stuff to the engine. I think the guy said he was trying to, trying to strengthen it up because he was getting ready to put meth on it. So he wanted to, you know, yeah, really. the internal parts to be, uh -huh. you know, strong enough to handle. I think he said he was going to try to get up to about a thousand horsepower. Okay. You know, so he wanted to have some aftermarket parts in there sure. to give, give it stability. So, make a long story short, he ended up. Um, um, the guy ended up calling him back. The yeah. dealer ended up calling the customer back saying, hey, we got a guy that wants to get out of a deal for, for the same type of Corvette that you, that mean, uh, well, yeah. Lamborghini, okay. that you wanted. Yeah. But the only, only way we can do that, we have to get another customer. Right. We can't just let him cancel his order. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So the guy said, hey, you know, I just went and bought this Corvette. I did all these mods to it. So he said, uh, he said, well, hey, you know, that's aftermarket parts, so. Right, right. <laughs> you know, you no gotta, value. Yeah, no value on that. Uh -huh. So, you know, but hey, he's a rich guy. He wanted his Lamborghini. Yes. So he went back, traded in. I ended up seeing it on the internet. Mm -hmm. And for the price, the mods, I mean, he showed me the invoice of all the stuff the guy had did. Right, professionally yeah, done. Yeah, professionally done. Yeah. And, you know, it, it was just too good of a deal. <laughs> Even though I was going to wait about six more months, yeah. I had to jump on it. Because, you know, the. The price they had it, as a matter of fact, they were trying to get a little money for the um, aftermarket parts. Mm -hmm. It had it had been out there, it had been out on the street. I mean, uh, you know, it had upsized yeah. it for about three weeks, right, right. and no people weren't biting on it because it was you right. know nice, but it was still aftermarket stuff. Uh -huh. They had just dropped the price like ten grand, oh, okay. you know. So it was it was it was it was maybe three or four thousand uh -huh. um, higher than market value. Okay. But I was like, hey, all of these, you know, yeah. aftermarket mods. Yeah, it was called. It's more, yeah, it's, it's more than worth it. So, yeah, so the aftermarket stuff had value to you. Oh, yeah. You, you plan on doing something to it. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Definitely. we're going to take a little pause here. We are out here at Simple Details. Simple Details is located right up here on Virginia Beach Boulevard. It's a great spot here. Um, we're going to do a little walk through here. So just take a look at this. This place is massive. From the outside, it looks pretty basic, but from the inside, they really put a lot of time and effort into this place. Um, they do the uh, paint protection film. They're doing uh, paint corrections. They're doing ceramic coating. Uh, they got lifts in here to do a few little odds and ends. I don't think they're really doing any maintenance in here, but everything is about making you beautiful. And we love being beautiful, don't That's we? Right. <laughs> <laughs> but let's get back into the car. So, I mean, you didn't buy it like this. You've been working on this thing. Oh, and, I mean, every time yeah. that I see you coming out, there's something you're either working on or there's something <laughs> that you just put on there. So, yeah. so, so let's, let's go from nose to toes with this thing. So. Run me down on some of this. This is real carbon, right? Yes. Okay, so yes. this isn't real. this isn't stickers and this no. isn't hydrogen <laughs> or anything like that. Not at all. All right. And all. then the big question that everybody has for you: How'd you make it red? Yes. So <laughs> it's actually a lot easier than we think, right? Yeah, it is. It, it really is. So um, there's a um, gentleman out in California. Mm -hmm. He loves he loves Corvettes. I mean, he he does other cars, but the main staple is is Corvette. And um, he's been in the industry probably for 20 years. 
Um, he, he found a way to take this, uh, take carbon fiber and then take a red thread mm -hmm. and then weave it into um, carbon fiber before the, you know, of course, before the, as they're making it, right? So he lay, lays it on, lays it on to the part and, um, and then he put an uh, automotive clear coat over it, uh -huh. you know, to get it, get that pop. Oh, wait, of course. I thought, I thought they were just painting it with like a candy red. They're not painting it with a candy red? Oh, no. Oh, wow. So that's like inside? Yeah, okay. it's inside. So that's yeah. a lot harder than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A red, red thread weaves inside of the carbon fiber and then they, then they um, you know, put the automotive clear coat over, over the top of it. Yeah. Okay. Nice pop. All right. So again, going from nose to toes, I mean, let, let's hit up some of these. These parts are kind of rare, too. I mean, yeah, they are. Everybody has these parts in the first place and they're definitely yeah. not done up in carbon. Oh no, definitely not. So, so from the spoiler, what we got going on? Yeah, so I've always liked the ZR1. Uh -huh. <laughs> so this is a um, ZR1 conversion uh, front bumper that right. he does. But he, did, he does a little flair to it because it looks a little different than a regular uh, ZR1 uh, front bumper. Of course, he had his, his tin uh, carbon fiber. It's called red reflection mm -hmm. carbon fiber. Yeah. Um, he, he, puts the, he puts those uh, tin pieces in all yeah, that. Yeah, inserts in there. Yeah, so he does that uh, custom uh, front bumper. Mm -hmm. And the great thing about it is he actually fits it on to uh, ZR06 before he sends it to you. Oh, okay. You know. Just fit. Yep. Okay. Yep. So I had a, a great company, um, uh, Custom Bay mm -hmm. um, Automotive, no, Nansen, Nansen um, auto, auto Body Shop. Okay. Um, actually painted it for me. Okay. Color matched it perfectly. Okay. And, um, yep. Did a good job. Right. Yeah, raise it on up. We got some overfingers done. Yeah, yeah. Fender extension. Mm -hmm. um, this is all done by um, Island Camp Custom, mm -hmm. um, out of Van Nuys, California. Right. Um, that's actually his his uh, design there. His mold, mm -hmm. and then he, you know, let his mold and then he laid carbon, you know, on, on top of that. Very cool. Um, he actually did the uh, fender extenders for me. The wheels were actually done by a different, a different, a different company. Yeah, these wheels have only been, you've only had them on the road for three months, yeah, two months? Yeah, about, about a couple months. Yeah, so I mean, these things are insane. I mean, we got some, <laughs> we got some pictures of those too. Yeah. So again, I mean, these are just some wild wheels. I mean, are, are these like a one-off or can I go to the store? They're all one-off. Okay. It, 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 it's funny you should say one-off because <laughs> the actual name of the company is One-Off Phillips. Okay. <laughs> so the guy, he, owned, he actually owns uh, compression wheels. Okay. And um, so he basically, he was in with another company and kind of had some creative differences, so yeah. he branched off it on his own. Uh -huh. And you know, he does some crazy stuff. Yeah. And he, you know, he, he, he gets his company back on back on his foot after the, you know, sure. kind of legal things they went through. Right. And um, yeah, he gives you, you know, you, you kind of give him an um, idea of kind of what you want. And you how know, would you describe these wheels to somebody who didn't see them? Because I would say they're angry. <laughs> they are. They are. It's a very aggressive wheel, and actually, that center cap uh -huh. is off of a uh, Rolls Royce. Okay. It's like a floating center oh, cap. Oh, I got you. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I designed it. I had him put the um, Chevrolet emblem inside of there. Right. And so as the, as the car is rolling, the, the emblem always stays upright. Okay, gotcha. Which is pretty cool. He's styling. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. Very cool. All right, so we're back down the line here. So we got the. Um, the under uh, spoilers there. Yeah, yeah. Side skirt, side skirt, all done in um, red, uh, red carbon. Mm -hmm. um, right, coming up, we got the mirror covers. The mirror covers done. Playing this um, winter on the side pillar. Okay. And those done. And um, I actually had my um, factory red, bone uh, metallic red uh -huh. when it came to car. Yeah. I had that one done in um, carbon also. Okay. Very good. You talking about the target top? Yeah, the target top. Okay, and then also down. from here, I can see yeah, the steering wheel. Now the steering wheel yes. you just got done in carbon here yes. within the past couple of weeks. Couple of weeks. Oh, yeah. yeah. Got the steering wheel done in um, red reflection carbon. The actual collar has been done. Uh -huh. And um, this, this winter, I planned on doing the uh, center console waterfall. Right. And um, there's a back portion there, back behind the um, center console. I plan on getting that done. Mm -hmm. And there's a couple more pieces on the doors, you know. Come on, right. inside. Then on the Don't plates me. up here again, we're not going to drill the, the thing up here, so we're going to behave the best we can for Virginia laws. And okay. All that stuff. <laughs> so, so blessed you too. There is a blessed you one. So let's make a mention of that. What what is that blessed you yes, one? Yes, the, ble the blessed you one is um, my uh, 2007 uh, Mercedes uh, S550. Uh huh. People always ask me, you know, what does what does bless you mean? And I, you know, I always give um, 
you know, pay tribute to the Lord. Sure. It's my Lord and Savior. Uh huh. And um, you know, it, it always sparks conversation. Yep. So anytime I get a chance to, you know, talk to people about the great goodness of the Lord. There you have it. Yeah. I'm excited right. about doing stuff. Either they're going to receive it or they're going to review there it. There you but go. Way, there you go. You still got it's, your it's, blessings. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're going to run around to the back of this car. We want to finish out looking at some of these pieces, and uh, you guys just hang tight. All right, so we have made our way to the back of the car. So again, we're going on the uh, the carbon train here. So <laughs> from the back of the car, again, we got the awesome wheels again, and then so tell us about some of the carbon in the back end of this thing. Oh yeah, so um, I've been tamping Custom's inspired stuff again. Uh, so he does a um, preferred uh, rear spoiler there, and you can see it in the in the red red reflection. Right. And he actually does uh, he calls it a GT2 wing. Mm -hmm. um, Pretty good downforce too, because I've taken to the track and it actually worked. So okay. Taking, yeah, I've taken uh, about 10 seconds off my time. Uh -huh. And I'm, I'm getting better at it. There you go. You know? Take us up to this the, the split window thing. I mean, yes. this thing, yes. it took you a while to get yes. this piece. And then, <laughs> how common is that? Yeah, it's pretty, it's, it's pretty uncommon. It, it's, uh, I thought it would be difficult to uh -huh. actually install, but it was actually pretty easy. I will always love the uh, 63 split window. Uh huh. And, um, as soon as I seen that, I knew I had to have it. Yeah. Because it's just something different. Yeah. You know, the actual back window actually does come out. Uh huh. And that whole piece goes in, and it does have uh, glass, glass in it. Okay. So you can see out of the, out of the rear of it. You know, kind of, kind of, kind of a bad view look. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely a, some inspiration from the older style. Definitely. And, all that, and it makes this Definitely. Stuff, sets the car off. Yeah. All right. That, that rear wing there is actually chassis mounted. Uh huh. So I, I actually took on that project. He convinced me that I could do it. Oh yeah, yeah. It actually took me about a week to do it, but I but I did it. And it, <laughs> you know, it, it, it basically boosted my confidence in actually working on the car because I've probably yeah. taken off every piece off of the car. There's actually a um a bracket that's about 100 pounds. Yeah. That actually bolts to the um the chassis of the car. Uh huh. And then the arms actually bolt, bolt to that. Right. You know, and then just you know. Put it together like an erector set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Very cool. Yeah. All right, so coming down, we got the spoiler, we got the other spoiler. Um, yeah. Down there, are there fairings down here? What, what do we got going on with the diffusers and all that? Yeah, so, so the diffusers there, um, more uh, red carbon. Uh -huh. I have a tandem custom. Um, Install those actually when I when I put the, when I put the rear fascia on. Sure. Which is All in one. Yeah. It's made everything easier. Get the blackout lights there. Mm -hmm. Blackout reflectors there. Got the um, Venador inspired um, rear lights there. Uh -huh. Also in the front. Gotcha. Who does those? Uh, Morimoto. Okay. Gotcha. Makes They've been around for a while. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So they're they're nice. You don't get any any problem or any flip Oh or no, 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 no. Yeah. All right. Well, good deal. Yeah. All right, we see the uh, the big exhaust down here. So you had a hand in yeah, that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the uh, previous owner had all, had already put on. Um, I got the car. It had like six hundred miles on it. Uh huh. Uh, the previous owner had already put on the uh, Corsa X pipe. Okay. And um, so I actually went to uh, Corvette's Carlisle. Yeah. <laughs> this 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 year, and um, I was actually going to get the um, Corsa um, axle back. Yeah. To put on it. As I got there, I was talking to the guy, and the guy behind me started up the AWE uh -oh. uh, Touring Edition, uh -oh. actually back. Oh, it just sounds great. You know, it gives it that deep, yeah. rich sound. Yeah, I caught you coming into the garage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah, nice. Yeah. It was nice. Yeah. It was nice. It was nice. Definitely let you know that somebody exactly, was in the house. Exactly, exactly. Because they also sell a, uh, track, a track edition. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. A lot louder. That thing is loud. <laughs> he started, you know, they had it on the PR1, started it up, and you hear it. I was like, oh, no, no. <laughs> That's too bad. My, my neighbors wouldn't like that. Right. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I like it for the uh, touring edition, which is pretty, um, it's pretty aggressive. Yeah. It has that, has that deep tone, you know, it, um, and it's not that loud right. until you get on it. Yeah, you get on it, it yeah. it'll let you know. It'll let you know. I don't yeah. know that. Yeah. All right, good deal. So um, we kind of ran through some things. We're going to take a peek underneath the hood, even though the hood okay. ain't done up yet. Yep. We still want to see where you are this year, so okay. we can see where you're going to be next year. Sounds good. Because we were just talking off camera just a bit ago, and your plans for the off season, which yes. car show season is never over. True. But, <laughs> so we got going on again. You're going to do the eight pillars. You're going to do the uh, brake ducts there on yes. the front and the back, and then yep. also the uh, the breather in the back yep. on the top as well. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Rear vent ducts. The, this thing is going to be carboned out to the, to the extreme. <laughs> yes, and that's your goal is to not have anything left that can't be carboned, right? That's, that's true. <laughs> I actually have a, um, 
Hall Tech uh, Aaron Pink. Okay. On the way. That, right. that actually got done up in um, the Red Reflection Carbon Fiber. Okay. It'll be here next week. So. There we go. Nice. Just in time for the uh, Coast of Virginia Auto Show. I, 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 I like it. All right, so we're going to take a peek under the hood. You guys stay tuned. So it's been a great time. We appreciate you spending time yes. with us today. Definitely. Thank you, Dr. Mark. Fantastic car out here. Again, hopefully you guys uh, get to see it at the show. Otherwise, I mean, he is he does show this car. He does drive this car. He yes. does have fun with this car. So big plans for the off season. Again, car shows don't have an off season. But anyways, the winter time, <laughs> this thing's going to go under the knife again. We can't see, wait to see what you have coming up with this. Yes. We're going to take a look at you guys uh, running out of here because I want to see how these uh, these Rolls Royce uh, center caps do okay. once we're going out the door. Exactly. All right, guys. Thanks again. We'll see you guys real soon on the road. Thanks, Thanks again. We'll see you real soon at awesome. the show. All right, yep. bye guys. All right.